Lesson 6, Tudor Feasts Food and feasts were an important way for Tudors to show off their importance and wealth. The wealthier a Tudor was, the more elaborate the dishes they had served, with expensive ingredients and multiple options. Poor Tudors would have quite a simple diet, including a dish called pottage, a vegetable soup made from herbs and peas and served with bread. If they were lucky, then they may also have dairy products including milk, cheese and butter, or preserved meat. Wealthier Tudors would eat lots of fresh meat, fish on Fridays and dishes cooked with expensive spices from abroad. They also indulged in sweet foods as sugar was seen as the ultimate luxury. In fact, they indulged so much, many Tudors had teeth that were black and rotten, including Elizabeth I. At the royal court, all the courtiers would be fed. There were so many people, around 400, it had to be done in two sittings. People would be served breakfast and dinner, and each meal would be an elaborate affair with many different dishes, and often presented in elaborate designs that were a feast for the eyes as well as the mouth. Where you were seated in the great hall or the watching chamber signified how important you were in court. The closer to the monarch you were seated, the more special you were. Often the monarch would have their own meals in their private chambers. Water was seen as contaminated and dangerous to drink, so instead people would drink ale and the rich would also drink wine. For your Tudor feast activity, you're going to cook your own Tudor feast. Now, you may want to do all the recipes or you may just want to do one of the recipes. This is up to you. But have fun making it and sampling it and seeing what you think of traditional Tudor food.